I'm back with more insanity news, which involves more on Joe Rogan, the people of Texas, and people on TikTok. To start things off, Texas turns blue. Literally. A freeze hit most of the United States. Interesting enough, only an area in the southern part, the warmest part, had trouble with it. And that's partly because they're not ready for such a thing. Well, it's time that the Republican state of Texas accepted the fact of climate change caused by global warming. And if you didn't learn about it in 2000, like I did, you never learned how the planet heating up can cause freezes. What it does is cause changes in the ocean currents, which are largely responsible for what happens in the atmosphere with the weather. And this is just going to keep happening. Yes, their windmills weren't the kind made for freezing temperature because they didn't think they needed them, but also their oil and gas systems were not prepared either, which is two-thirds of where their energy comes from. And so they lost power, and with that comes a loss of tap water and bursting pipes because of the freezing water in the pipes. And so if the water should come back on, the water's not safe. But zeroing in, we see that the conservatives that are running Texas didn't want to be prepared. They wanted to conserve money. They had the, the same philosophy that Texas Senator Ted Cruz had when he flew to Mexico. Every man for himself. No one's pointed this out. That is the conservative philosophy. That's the problem here. They're not in it for everybody. Like a community? With that being said, it's time to see what Joe Rogan said. With this Texas story, as I promised, I wanted to answer a question for our buddy Joe Rogan. I saw him recently pose this question uh, following the, the outrage of Ted Cruz fleeing to Mexico with his family. What can he do? What is, yeah. the, what is the reason for him staying? No, well, I think it's just the optics of how optics, it looks. Yeah, right. but of course. No, he doesn't have any of... Can good. he make it warm out? Well, I don't think he has any power to do anything good. Maybe he should be there with blankets. Yeah. For a second, let's ignore the stupid facetiousness in his rhetoric. In fairness, Joe Rogan could be asking this question, not rhetorically, but maybe he really wants like a list of things Ted Cruz could do. But, going through some logical pathways, starting with the fact that Joe is one of the few people defending Ted Cruz, and the fact that he is a conservative, that's what leads me to believe that he is just defending conservative people. But the first thing that crossed my mind is, I've heard this type of argument before. It might have been with Hurricane Katrina, and we had a Republican president back then who didn't do much, George W. Bush. Same kind of thing. What can he do? Change the weather? Can he turn the hurricane around? And this is such a fake, false argument. And it's clear that they are just being political and trying to get their guy off the hook. You not only see it in politics, but you see it on YouTube and health circles. Vegans against meat eaters. Same stuff. Well, I don't think he has any power to do anything good. <laughs> What is this? Something about his brain? Because, yeah, I, I've never seen him do anything good. He's one of the most hated before Trump huh? came on the scene. Five, six years ago, Ted Cruz was one of the most hated politicians, along with Pence. Mm. I know the first thing Ted Cruz could do is not skip out of the country and sneak off to Mexico. And did you notice how easy it was for him to get in there and crossing the Trump wall? Maybe the wall only works one way. But sure, I bet Joe Rogan doesn't know what a senator could do in this situation. I don't know any specifics either. But I'm not in his biased position to just put out a bunch of bullshit. I'm smart enough to know what I don't know. And I know that senators can do things. That's why we have senators. They do stuff. They have powers. They have resources. And they have a big platform. There's a congresswoman from New Jersey who did more while Ted Cruz was on the plane to help his people. I guess to kind of answer your question, no, uh, no one is asking for Ted Cruz to hug pipes with blankets. Rather, do things like we saw Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez doing. She doesn't even on Thursday, and as of Sunday, she had already raised $5 million. 
other people that are supporting those efforts, also on the ground, helping people out, like Ted Cruz is trying to do now that he got shamed into coming back to America. I understand, I, I say this with like no hate in my heart to Joe Rogan. Yeah. I just think that that's such an incredibly stupid, sad thought process. What is this elected representative supposed to do for the state? Represent and help the people? And has anyone noticed the irony that Ted Cruz had to leave the U.S. and go into Mexico to get some clean drinking water? <laughs> and I have some advice for people on how to avoid problems in the future. First of all, get yourself off of auto pay, especially for people in Texas like Vegan Jerry. Although the big electricity bills the Texans are getting, I think are just from people who buy their electricity wholesale where their cost will fluctuate with the market. Reminds me of the stock market. And their power grid going down caused the price to just go way up. So I would no longer trust wholesale. Another good idea, if you can do it, is to move out of conservative states, especially Texas. And if you're liberal, don't move to a liberal state. Move to a swing state where your vote will mean more and possibly turn those states blue. And speaking of Jerry, I had the idea that I could use my YouTube channel here to raise money for Jerry, who lives in Dallas. I can take donations from my viewers, and we can send him on a trip to Cancun for the winter. It's cheaper than a Texas hotel right now. Hotels were known to go up to $1,000 a night because people need them so desperately. More supply and demand. On a similar note, oil companies raised their prices, and this is called price gouging. It's illegal in most places. Speaking of Joe Rogan as a public servant with a large audience. You taking that vaccine? No. Yeah. No. I just, no, pussy. I mean, I would if I felt like I needed it. But I just, I just feel like if you maintain your health. You cannot be missing the point this badly after all this time. It's not a question of if you need it. We all have to get the fucking vaccine to achieve herd immunity. Do you understand that? People like you who are too lazy or too fucking dumb to understand it. You got to fucking chill on the elk meat, dude, because it's rotting your fucking brain. I eat a lot of wild game and then I'm cooking everything in beef tallow. Joe is showing his stupidity once again for all of us to marvel at. My sense of smell is completely screwed up, and it's been for over a month. Well, your health was probably not good. Imagine it's thinking a death. Imagine thinking a deadly novel virus is more appealing than a vaccine. You're probably not eating enough raw meat. Yeah, Joe's whole thing is like, <laughs> well, people are dying. It's their fault. I just feel like if you maintain your health. And it appears that he's one of those ignorant people that just thinks that. Being healthy means you don't have any big diseases, but a person is only healthy until they're not. And this guy's around 50 years old, and with the way he lives, he shouldn't consider himself a health specimen. There's people who associate big muscles, being fit with being healthy. Caveman, archaic, paleolithic, living in the dark ages. You're probably not eating enough raw meat. Yeah, Joe's whole thing is like, <laughs> well, people are dying. It's their fault for being fat or something. Well, there it is. That's the conservative philosophy that I've been talking about. And his reaction to the Ted Cruz story fits in here. You know, Ted Cruz isn't responsible for others, only himself. And he's taking care of himself. That's conservatism. That's why Texas is not on the U.S. grid. They want it to be independent. That's the mind of a sociopath whose own well-being just overshadows everyone else's. Oh, speaking of the Dark Ages, I almost forgot to cover TikTok. You had some people putting up videos of themselves trying to melt the snowball with a lighter, but notice that you didn't see any videos of people bringing snow into their house, maybe putting it in a pan or something, and seeing if it would just melt to water. Because it would have, and then there would be no reason to put up those videos. No, it's just the lighter videos. Well, there's two reasons the snowball didn't drip water. For one, lighters are only hot enough to light up a cigarette. And that doesn't take much. And from there, the process of sublimation comes in, where the low heat will turn the ice into vapor. Gases, which are the components of water, which is, you know, H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. I can understand these TikTok people not knowing about this stuff. But you gotta be real stupid. <laughs>
to think the snow is fake? Like from China? Now, in the recent year, Texas has been getting closer to actually turning blue. In political terms, that means the majority of people would vote for a Democrat. And I think this freeze will push them over the edge. After their skin being blue for three days, they might actually vote blue next time. So to sum up this weather problem, weather, it turns out, is the perfect wake-up call for conservatives. You can't hide from the weather. Well, uh, maybe some people can. Well, if you have the money, you can run from it. For a limited time.